Yo, welcome back to more Mansa. It is your boy Mansa. Look, man, it's been a minute since we posted, but we are bike. We are bike. We're about to be checking out uh, this terrorist attack in Santa, man. Uh, I've been hearing about this news going around on Twitter and things like that. You guys have been messaging me. Uh, make sure I'm good. Make sure I'm okay. I am good. I'm actually leaving for uh, Lesotho tomorrow morning, so I will not be in Santa. Um, and then I'll be heading back to Cape Town for a little bit. But we're about to go ahead and check out this video. See what my man here got to say. Link to this vid is in the description. Make sure you guys go show love to my to my guy right here. Uh, let's go ahead and get right into this, man. Y'all know you're smash sub and like the video. Let's get it. Commanders morning, Tantalak Soweto Parliament. I'm going through some reports after receiving so many phone calls from concerned civilians, citizens, and uh, various groups that I will not mention about the communication sent out by the American Embassy uh, in regards to the possible God dang Americans. terrorist attacks in Johannesburg Center. So what I can tell you is that many of our law enforcement and security agencies have confirmed this communication to be positive and not just hoax. So with that said, all the ground forces in in South Africa from various communities, townships in particular, have said that no, they, they, they want to come and support and fight and be, you no, know, no. So after, after having proper com conversations and communications with, with, the, with our government, with the state agencies, um, various uh, security agencies, private and uh, government. My thing is, bro, how does the U.S. know what's going on? Like, I don't know if he said it. I wouldn't, I don't know. But how does the U.S. know? And then why would they, like, why wouldn't they, like, go to SA government privately and let them know instead of, like, fearing the whole public? You know what I mean? The conclusion is that there's already deployment on the ground. Like, that so was a very uh, non-professional way to do something like that. There's security on the ground. There's deployment on the ground. Our willing and able um, uh, security clusters um, I don't want to mention them by name for obvious reasons because the enemy will also listen to the video. So what I can guarantee and reassure is that everyone, do not try go to center and and try and front line ribbing this terrain. If you are part of our structures and systems, look, I'm, I'm trying to look you know, outside, see what Santa look like. There are people out there. If I talk to them. We're going to have some bases set up around center, not in center, and you're going to be deployed there ready to assist the state so we're not going to go ahead of the state if there's any problems but the truth of the matter is that i don't think there will be a problem in santon i personally think that santon is a decoy um let me also give background the, it is true that we do have terrorists on the ground yes it's oh true. shoot yeah i just got moved on to the next phase of big brother okay my fault and simply because Honali negotiations, peace talks that are happening in South Africa, peace talks uh, to bring about to bring about an end to to the civil war in Ethiopia with all those the rebels. Oh uh, yeah, Jinta yeah, the, the whole Ethiopian, Ethiopian thing. So South Africa has been hosting the peace talks from the 25th to the 30th. It's going to take place until the 30th. Now, there is no way that the rebels will send their leaders and will not have security on the ground forces on the ground in case of the peace talks being a trap for them to be arrested and charged with um, uh, crimes against humanity treason in ethiopia etc etc so it's only natural that you're going to have a high concentration or concentration of of uh, terrorists in one area where the negotiations are happening i'll also not mention where the negotiations are happening for obvious reasons and that's why there was a communication that says people must leave Santon and they mustn't come to Santon, etc. So I just think that it went out the wrong way. It should have been better. Yeah, I agree. Communicated. Definitely. I'm just worried why would the American embassy feel the need of it communicating such a thing when you've got international relations and security protocol. Yeah. That information should have went to our government, to our security agencies so that... Ain't that what I said? Yes. Yeah, exactly, bro. Exactly. Like, everybody... Bro, that's common sense, bro. Like, what's what's up, bro? That's common sense. Like, everybody should, like... Bro, that's just... That was just so... Um, uh, yeah. That, that was our not it. That was not it. Able ...to communicate this sensitive information in, in the best way possible for people not to panic. Now we've got people panicking. You go to Santon City, it's empty, but the forces on the ground 
are covering every square mile of that area so a hundred percent guarantee again that I can um, that I can uh, communicate to you the the biggest problem for this for the weekend is you know the communication was for the 29th it was for Saturday the 29th that there will be a terrorist attack like I said Santon for me is a decoy the places that need double triple deployment for security is the is Moses Mabida Stadium. I'm looking at the report here. Moses Mabida. Um, oh, yeah, and Durban. Coronation will be, you know, will be on the 29th and there'll be 85,000 people that are expected at Moses Mabida um, with international guests. So for me, Durban is a focal point. Um, we also have the Gay Pride uh, event that was happening in Santon that was scheduled to happen also on the 29th. Double deployment for security there as well. So we're to Derby heavy mm. triple if possible um triple. deployment of security we know that will also assist um in soweto with the soweto security cluster and perhaps alexandra security clusters to go there and make sure that um COVID security is deployed and and it, the, the 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 derby is, is seamless and we don't have any security threats in that regard and if any we are prepared for it um the soweto olympics were also scheduled for for the same date but there was soweto since olympics. To, the, to the 19th of november so what's our Olympics? So that's it. That's the report. Um, the, the facilitation of the peace talks uh, between the rebel forces and, and the Ethiopian government are facilitated by former Nigerian president um, Ola Sanjo, uh, former Kenyan president Uhuru Kenyatta, uh, former deputy president of South Africa Mepumzile Mlambo Nyoka. So those talks are currently happening. And um, we just hope those talks go well because that those talks might just be the the trigger of anything that may happen if perhaps uh, things don't go well in those talks but one thing i can guarantee is that the people that i've mentioned are capable and competent negotiators international negotiators they know their story so we shouldn't have any problems in south africa and good going for south africa to host peace talks as Definitely. sensitive as dangerous as south africa is so be. peaceful man Trump like why why would somebody want to why would terrorists that's the last thing i would think in here like terrorists in south africa for what bro these are the most peaceful diggers in the world you know what i'm saying like y'all just be um, chilling having a good time having on fun my side minding I'm your own business more documents to see if there's anything i should be letting you know from my side that's it 100%. So I think I've communicated as best as possible. Again, the most pressing one, my chance, all forces, you stand down. You don't go ahead of the state when you get into Santon. There are bases around Santon. I will not mention where. There'll be bases around Moses Mabida. There'll be bases good, around good, good. Um, Orlando Stadium during the derby. There'll be bases around um, the Gay Pride. Again, that also falls into Santon. So there's enough security for people not to be the superstar lady staring. We're going to work together. We're going to be very patient with this one and see it through. But one thing I can guarantee is that the forces are willing and they're able and they're competent. They are on the ground as we speak and intelligence has been flying around and there's proper joint ops with international agencies as well. The only thing I would personally like is to see the Embassy of America apologizing formally. The same way they sent out a letter that leaked and went everywhere they must have another letter that apologizes to the people of south africa and the government of south africa because such sensitive information should be communicated by government or at least people of south africa exactly because, uh, exactly for sure to do the same thing in america our embassy sending out possible terrorist at attacks it'd be a huge deal that is loud, 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 like mortgaging, so, so as soon as we would do that in, in I apologize on America's behalf. Relation problem. So let's just respect each other for 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 who we are. And Raskapailana Skele. Okay, we do have a government in South Africa. We've got law enforcement agencies, security agencies, joint ops. We've got the military. So let us understand our our, our responsibilities and respect each other in that regard. With that said, Tanta Lux. For sure, for sure. Shout out, man. I I completely agree. Like the way the uh, U.S. I'm from the U.S., you know what I'm saying? I don't know why we would do... Y'all don't know why we, we we act like this. We always in somebody's business. We always out here doing doing the most. But, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why they handled it like that. It was very, very unprofessional, you know what I'm saying? Like he said, they like, there's a whole... Like, the whole government where they meet up with all the countries, like, why... And then, like, they could talk government to government, like, why does it have to be something that's announced to the public where now you got people scared in the streets and stuff like this? Like, this should be something that should have been, you know what I'm saying, talked about to 
the SA government, where the SA government then decides what they will do and what they will tell the people here in South Africa. You know what I'm saying? Then they will take their their necessary steps to make sure everybody's safe. You know what I'm saying? They might have something. To, they might have something totally different they got going on here and how they work things out. You feel me? So yeah, but that's my opinion. Um, I hope everybody's safe. You know what I'm saying? Um, if y'all worried about me, I do stay in Sanson, but I will not be here. I'm actually going to Lesotho uh, in the morning. Um, so yeah, and I hope you guys enjoy my reaction commentary. Comment comment down below y'all's thoughts on the on the on this. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for the next one, y'all.